Oh, it's a big transfer window for Man United. We know they needed to sign probably a right back, probably a striker, a central midfielder, at least one of them, maybe two, a defensive midfielder, maybe a right winger. Uh, and so the good thing is that they bought a left back. They need one of those, they have three already. But now they've also signed, or they're about to sign, Christian Eriksen. Da -da -da -da. We know Christian Eriksen as being like a number 10 or an eight. Um, Inter Milan, we played uh, sometimes as a, a lonely six, a lonely boy with all the skill. Um, but where's he going to play for Man United? Where does he fit in? Because we don't really know. <laughs> Their transfer window has been uh, awful so far. It might improve at some point. We think they're going to play this sort of 4-2-3-1 shape. If Frankie de Jong signs, we know he's going to be one of these two sixes, probably going to get rid of McTominay or Fred. Don't know which one. And then if they sign uh, Martinez, that he would probably be a centre-back, but then that would impact maybe he'd go into defensive midfield to be a destroyer next to De Jong. We don't know. No one knows. No one knows what Man United are doing. I mean, he could play on the left here as a playmaker. Um, these are all the sorts of places he could go. Rashford can go away in have Eriksen here. You have Eriksen playing as a 10, obviously. If Fernandes is not there, he's always there. Fred can go away. He can play there. Rashford back in. It's a double pivot from a bit deeper. And the advantage of playing as like a, a deeper player is that if you are attacking, as often you are as a Man United team, and we know they're going to be very close together like this, based off what we've seen in pre-season so far. As you have McTominay sitting here as the anchor, essentially, and your centre-backs are up here, Eriksen can float in these positions here to then sort of dictate play, because there's more space. If he's in here, there's, there's less space. It's as simple as that, really. Like, if he's in here, there's less chance of him able to do things. If he can drop deep into these sorts of positions, like Andrea Pirlo used to, I'm not saying he's Pirlo, but that gives you a bit of an advantage of being able to ping your sort of long balls into there. You can drift out to wide areas if he wants to and put balls in from there. This is what he does, he's a playmaker. i um, got some numbers for you which will help support what I'm trying to say. So if I look at some data, data helps, like this one. This is where Christian Eriksen had his touches last season for Brentford, remember them? 11 times for them in the league, he was very good, one of the most creative players in the league. I think only Kevin De Bruyne created more chances per 90 or something crazy like that. I've got a stat for that, I should actually read out to you, this is better. But we saw a lot of his touches were on the left side of the pitch. Well, like, like, he's like a playmaker, but he'd stay wide left and come inside to more central areas, often in midfield here, dictating play, often deep like a six would be. Basically, he's a very technically gifted player who will up the technical proficiency of Man United's midfield. Really good for ball circulation and keeping possession. That's what he's good at. He's not good at winning the ball back or being part of quick transitions. He's here to be able to keep the ball and play that sort of ten hag football. Because if we look at what Man United do, or last season under Ralph Rangnick, uh, they were good at keeping the ball. Uh, they were not good at progressing the ball. So this is the really important bit that ten hag will almost certainly, I'd imagine, try to improve dramatically is get this progressive passes so they can get the ball from back to front better more efficiently and with a higher quality that's what they expect to get from Christian Eriksen even when he plays because you're going to have Bruno Fernandes you might have Frankie de Jong you might have Martinez if he comes in lots of different options and as we said we think United are going to play this 4-2-3-1 this was with Ajax played last season all competitions under Ten Hag could be a diamond where you more easily get him into one of these two eights. I think he played mostly as the eight, to be honest, one of these two eights. Because um, what we saw again, uh, United's 4 0 win over Liverpool in pre season, sure enough, it's a friendly, doesn't matter. I think we've covered that in a video we did on the game. But uh, what you see is if there's a double pivot with Fernandez, oh, we'll put this, the fullbacks here, double pivot here of the two midfielders, if Ericsson is one of these two. As they go forward, Fernandes might pull out to the right-hand side, like this sort of position here, where you can often drop and swap with Sancho. Um, and then Eriksen would go to the left-hand side of that, so as an opposite. So you keep this sort of triangle dynamic, where it's useful. Because I've got more data. Look at this. These are all of Christian Eriksen's chances created and assists in the Premier League last season. Um, lots of deep crosses. Useful for Ronaldo, he likes to jump high. A bouncy man. You can sort of see that the gold ones are the ones he's assisted. Um, that's clearly a set piece from a corner. And that's very relevant because Christian Eriksen's set piece delivery might be integral to how United play. Last season, United's set pieces were not very good. I think they are fourth bottom in this graph, which may or may not be on your screen right now. And the quality of the set pieces were the best in the league. So 0.22 chances created per set piece 
in the league last season. Really high quality volume. And that's, if you're in a tight game, say uh, United are playing against a team who they know are going to block them out, and the way they might break through is going to be with a set piece. So you're playing, maybe not Liverpool or something like that, but uh, well, there's, I guess, a two, two versions of it. It's going to be tight, and you're going to be very um, cautious against a team like Liverpool. It might be that set piece is the way you break through, and then you bring someone like Ericsson in because the quality of delivery is so high that you give yourself a high chance of scoring that one goal you can then hold on to and counter for the rest of the game. Or you're playing against a team like who's going to be difficult to break down. Maybe Everton going to block next season and you can't get through them. No matter what you do, there's no space through the middle. Uh, the space out wides will close down. So maybe again, a set piece is the way you win the game. Very important to, the, to winning football matches, set pieces. And that's where Ericsson comes in. And it's a, it's a team game, football. You may be aware of this. Uh, also, with the World Cup coming up, you're going to have to use a lot of your subs because there's going to be a lot of games coming in. So lots of squad rotation. But the way it looks, you know, if they're going to play, it's going to be quite high energy, um, a very aggressive in and out of possession. And so you'd imagine that they'll be rotating their players, not all the time, but often enough to make it viable that Ericsson would get a lot of minutes and be useful in that team. Had lots of experience, uh, that's really relevant as well. Um, is an ambitious player, very useful in this sort of team. Clearly wants to be able to have, well, he's essentially got a second chance, as obviously of what happened to him, horrendous as it was. He's now playing again and doing very well. So uh, Ericsson to United makes a lot of sense because he's free transfer. He gives you a lot of experience, very creative player, chances created per, what's his number? Of, um, his shot, shot creating actions puts him, I think it's, he's below players like Jack Grealish and Kevin De Bruyne of a similar sort of measurement pool. If you put them in the same pool, uh, he's pretty good. So yeah. That's Christian Eriksen to Man United. It's probably going to be a good idea. Might not start every week. That's roughly it. Have a good time. Bye. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.